The following gameplay is on Give Me God of War difficulty against some of the hardest bosses that I've encountered so far. I don't get hit once and I don't use any runic abilities, summons, or relics. I don't use any Spartan Rage either. I don't use any weapons, only the fists and the shield, parrying and blocking. The following has a lot of spoilers, so please be advised and enjoy the gameplay. Thank you. Pretty sure the jump might be worth it. I think it does more stagger damage. Oh yeah, that does a lot of damage. Oh, actually no, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Maybe more stagger. Yeah, it does, I don't know, think it matters. Yeah, no, it actually is better not to use a jump attack. That was close. I tried to turn around too quick. He's, he's, um, he's panicking. That was bad. How did he... Where are you going? No hit. That man just started throwing all everything he had at me. Wasting my breath, but it's berserk of champions even less so. Trash. Yo, I should try to parry her just for the fun of it. It's gonna completely change everything, but screw it. Okay, this one might actually stagger her. Fuck it. OG shield. Here we go. Thank <laughs> you. 
So now I can't block yellow attacks, I have to parry him or dodge him. Bitch, I'm a parry god. No hit run. <laughs> Yo, I no hit it. So if you play God of War Ragnarok, you know the most broken thing in the game is poison. Anytime you get poison, your character's level goes down by one. You take more damage. You, you do less damage. You move like almost half the speed. That means sprinting, dodging, attacking, whatever. Poison is just the worst. Now you could use it to your advantage actually in this game. There's a specific armor that makes you do poison attacks. Barehanded attacks, parrying, blocking, they all have high luck chance to deal bonus damage and poison the enemy, lowering their power level. This is the Lundus Lost Curus. It also comes with the bracers and the belt. This one also does 20% extra poison damage. Actually, melee damage I think. Yep, I guess poison enemies. And then it's another 20. So total you'll be doing 40% extra damage if they're poison. Now that's 
not just 40% because the enemy's level is going down, so their health is going to go down, their defense is going to go down, their speed is going to go down, their attack is going to be slower, it's going to deal less damage to you, and you're going to do more damage to them. So combined, you're just going to do a ridiculous amount of damage. Stat-wise, this thing comes with a good amount of luck, strength, defense, and a little bit of runic. Again, luck, strength, runic. This one's defense, runic, luck. Runic doesn't really matter because you're not going to be doing any runic attacks. At least at this point in the game right now I'm at, runic attacks just tickle the enemies. It's not worth it. You're better off doing your regular melee attacks. And luck is good to have because this one is affected by your luck. Luck stat. My one right now is at 122, but before when I was using this, it wasn't that high and it was still really freaking good. Again, the amulets, I have quite a few things on which actually help this build, but you can do this without the amulets. It's just going to make it stronger or less stronger, but it's already very strong. So I have the sets, which are the Swartalheim, I think, Swartalfheim's set, which gives me increased stun damage inflicted based on my defense, which is at 188, which is not bad. You need the three of these to activate the perk. It comes with defense, strength defense, cooldown, and then the Vanaheim set. This one has increases Kratos and melee damage against status afflicted enemies and of course that includes poison based on his luck. My luck is at 122 now and again it was much less before, didn't matter. And then for the final one right now I have the double tap. Again, th I, this one I have because of poison itself. Dodge rolling, you, you might get this later in the game, you don't need it. But whenever I get poison I just start spam rolling because it, it like takes off the poison affliction on you. So you recover quicker. But again, that's not necessary. None of these are necessary. They just amplify your effects. Weapon does not matter. None of these matters. The only thing that matters about this is the stats. This one gives you 55 strength if you upgrade it, which I guess helps with the melee. That matters. Runic does not matter. That's spoiler right there. This one really matters, your shield. Now, I would highly recommend using this one just because this is definitely the best shield in the game for the most part. There are exceptions where you actually want to parry, but if you're not parrying, this one is the best. Because you could block all the yellow attacks. If anything, you want to block the yellow attacks because you want to charge up the shield. But when the shield is fully charged, it'll be glowing red, which I think it absorbs four exact hits before it can no longer defend against yellow ring attacks, which is going to break your guard. So you're going to want to have to use... You're going to double tap L1 like it says here, and then it resets. So you could block four attacks before it's fully charged. And then if, if the shield gets hit with a yellow ring attack, it's going to break. But if it's not fully charged, the yellow ring attack is going to be absorbed. I think it explains it itself here. So, I mean, if you use it, you're going to know. Other than that, I think this is the best drill in the game. Level it up. So far, at least, is the best. So the strategy revolves around you blocking. And whenever they hit your shield, they get poisoned. I think they take a little bit of damage. But the main thing is they get poisoned. So as long as they're not doing red ring attacks, you can just hold your guard the whole time and just turtle. The moment they do red attacks, dodge. That's the only thing you got to worry about. Um, and of course, melee attacks with your fist. That's what the... Oh, and the shield guard. For, for this shield specifically, I would, I would go with this one. Again, it doesn't really matter. You could use anything, but so far I found this to be the best one. Just because parrying or blue ring parrying gives you a cooldown. Again, has nothing to do with the build. That's just what I use. But if you do plan on parrying... I personally prefer this one, which you get later in the game, only because once you parry them, you can do like a counterattack that actually staggers them. The heavy counterattack is a little bit slow, but it's good for groups. The quick attack, the R1, has range and it's a little bit faster. So I would use the R1 in a boss fight. And I would use the increase the timing window on parry's attachment, or the shield attachment, yep, uh, just to make it easier. But for the most part, just stick to this, and then whatever on this you want. I actually don't use, don't use this one. Kratos Afflicted with Frost, Burn, Poison, Shield Strike, Double Tap will increase, cleanse the status. You don't want to cleanse their status, it'll take off the poison. And if you do that in real time in a fight, you'll see that their health just increases because their level just goes back up. So you're just basically doing worse using this, so don't use this one. I made the mistake of using that early on, don't use that. Again, the Rage, this one I don't really like. I tested it, it doesn't seem very good. This, again, it doesn't really matter. You just use Rage to get some health back and do some damage. And Relic, again, doesn't really matter. So far in the game, I like this one. I haven't really even upgraded it. To use this build, all you need is your shield. 
You want to unsheathe your weapon and just constantly punch it. I'm going to demonstrate how to do that in this video, but there are spoilers, even more spoilers than I've already spoiled in the game. It's going to be against some of the hardest bosses that I found, and um, I put stipulations on myself, so I'm not going to get hit. I'm not going to use runic attacks. I'm not going to use Spartan Rage. It's just fists. Fist, parrying, and blocking. That's it. Um, I do use my um, teammate. I don't use any of their summon attacks. I just use their arrows, which is not even fully upgraded. Even now, I don't have a lot of her stuff upgraded. I think even in the... Like, her sword is not upgraded. That's a level level 1 runic summon. I think it's just like that. Again, accessory. I have these a little upgraded. The Sonic Aftershock, Sonic Attachment, Runic Potensity. A lot of them, a lot of the fights, I didn't even have it upgraded. Doesn't really matter again. It'll probably help build up the stagger a little bit more. But again, for the shield, you don't need any upgrades. So none of this mostly matters. Once you try it, you'll see how strong it is.